Hi everyone, we're here in the beautiful Coppell Valley in Saskatchewan. I finally made it. Uh, we're here on a very exciting trip. Off to do two music videos in my hometown of Kenora, Saskatchewan. This is our first stop that we're making today, just taking it all in. I haven't been home in a number of years. Uh, it's a little bit more chilly than uh, what we anticipated. Got three layers of clothing and hoping that in the next couple days that it's going to warm up and I'm sure it will. Without you, my heart stops. Can't you see? Can't you see? And I will never stop. So our next stop is in Kenora and uh, we'll pick up a couple things we need for the day and then we'll be able to start our filming for the day at the Kenora train station. You would always be mine Every evening when the sun goes down and there's nobody else around And love's not a bad place to be And I... I've been to this town so many times. Uh, I had an aunt and uncle that lived here. Yeah. And they used to own a pool hall right next to their house. And uh, of course that was a nice gathering place for a lot of people in the town. Huh. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Look at that. That's the bird home. It's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah, that was built by the Duke of Horse. January, February seems so dark. I have a lot of memories of being here. I've, <laughs> I've sung a lot of times here on the grounds and uh, attended a lot of festivals and events here. Right on. So this is uh, Duke of Our Prayer Home. Uh, the bottom portion, there's a museum up above. Sky. There's many years. Yeah, I'm Sky. glad you're here today. Oh yeah, always here. Hello. Bryce. Nice to meet you. Seasons Philip. Seasons will change. Just the two of us, that's all we need. Reasons will change. It isn't? But one thing. I don't know what you want me to work into. Wow, okay, that's maybe I thought maybe you should sit beside Really? Something. What would they do without you? <laughs> you'll have to you have to stay here forever. Could we use that outdoors? Sure. sure. That would be awesome. You could take that bread and salt off of that table downstairs, put it on here. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. That would and be terrific. If you want, take an old chair here. That's that's perfect. So, I'm here standing um, on the balcony of the Duke of Our Prayer Home and this brings back a lot of memories to me because when I was a young boy, I used to sing up in this section up here and there would be lawn chairs um, here on the lawn right in front and they used this as a stage and um, I was probably the youngest person singing. Uh, they were usually the um, older people and, and the Duke of Our Choirs, but then they would ask me to come up and, and perform a couple songs. And when I would come up here, I would always have to sing Amazing Grace. Um, that was the, the song most requested. And I remember one time, it was just such a beautiful uh, day, and when I was singing Amazing Grace, it just echoed out amongst all of Varigan and into the countryside where the fields were, and it was just such a cherished moment that I will never forget. On this area is where uh, we used to get water. There was a well around this area, and I remember this road that we're turning on really well because when I was a young boy, I used to ride my bike to a lot of the different neighbors. And my grandmother used to phone up one of the neighbors and ask if she had any cream. 
and she used to give me, I don't know, it was a couple quarters or maybe a dollar and asked me to go ride my bike down this road to, to pick up cream for baking that she had done. But also, um, we had a couple cats on our farm and one of them, I don't know, every spring she would have an amazing amount of kittens, sometimes eight, I swear even more than that. And so my dad used to say to me, well, what are you gonna do with all those kittens? So I'd phone up all the neighbors and I would say, do you need a cat, do you need a kitten? And tell them what colors we have and let them pick the color. And then when I would, I would deliver the, uh, the kittens on a little basket on my bike and hope they wouldn't get loose and, and run free. And then the people would want to pay me for the, for the kittens, which I, I didn't want the money because I didn't want to become a, a, a kitten service where I was selling them. But I guess I was, it was more of a kitten courier service. And um, so I, like I said, I know these roads really well and, and used to know a lot of the, uh, the neighbors quite well. I guess in this day and age, if I was delivering kittens, I'd probably do it by drone. <laughs> been here in so many years but the old house is still standing I just can't believe that my mom and dad used to uh, live in that house it's kind of in the middle of nowhere to think of all the years that of all the things it has seen and yeah I'm getting a bit emotional Looks like uh, it must have been a wood floor, and it's kind of shabby chic. So this morning, first order of the day is I have an interview at the Kenora Courier, which is the local uh, newspaper for uh, Kenora, Saskatchewan, and I'm looking forward to this. It's been a long time since I've been in this office, and uh, and I'm going to meet Rocky today, who is going to be uh, working on the story. So let's go. Nothing stays the same. I decided. I was doing a lot of songwriting. I started trying to write songs. And then in my early 20s, I decided, well, you know what? I think I'm going to record those songs. And I had a little bit of money saved. And then my grandmother, bless her, I, I needed to find a recording studio. And she, she, we went on a road trip with her all the way to Rosetown. And uh, I found um, a recording studio there that was in a small trailer. And then I went back there on my own. I took the bus and went back there and spent a week and recorded a, a, a whole album. And it's been long out of print. And, and sometimes if you go on eBay, you can see it for up to $100 now. It's just yeah, kind of... It's kind of funny. Yeah. I sent out a, a, one of my albums to the Tommy Hunter show. And, I, and we received a phone call one day and said, we'd like you on the show. And I went, really? <laughs> and on the show was also Charlie Pride and Reba McIntyre. Oh, wow. And uh, Reba and I hung out together in the green room for a good part of the day. And then November 15th of 1986, with a one-way ticket and two suitcases, a guitar, and 800 bucks in my pocket. And my dad said to me, we'll see you when you run out of money. <laughs> and I thought, I better prove him wrong. Because <laughs> he thought, when he runs out of money, he'll come back home. Winter uh, my latest CD has a variety of easy listening sounds. And my producer, uh, co-producer, because I, I also co-produced the project. His name is Michael. And last name is Kreber. And I worked with one of the best producers in Vancouver. And he's worked with uh, Katie Lang, uh, one of the most famous opera stars in the world, Andrea Bocelli, and David Foster. So I just knew if I wanted to really make this project shine, I had to hire the best. Things 
in stride Sounds like good advice But there's no one at my side And time washes clean Someone told yeah, and you're still singing. Both of you are uh, trying. Well, as often as you sing. wherever possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mostly in <laughs> very Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hi. Good. How are you? Uh, crying it? Yes. There you go. Remember when you See? were little, you used, well not little, you were a teenager, you used to walk from your grandma's and get cream. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to ride my bike, grandma would give me money, and I would pick up cream, and also I would deliver kittens, because our cats would always have too many kids. Yeah. Did I give you one too? I think so, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you see, I, I, I spoke the truth. Well, that's kind of a wrap in Kenora. We uh, had a few great days of filming. Uh, today we had the event at the local library uh, where I was signing CDs and met so many people from my past. Um, it was really touching that so many people had turned out today. And also I had an interview today at the uh, local Kenora Courier. Um, Thank you, Kenora. Uh, thank you for your support, for your generosity, for all the hugs I got today. And I really look forward to my next visit home. Got no troubles today.